most high Christ bless. Ha! Order, order, nation in order, my house in order. Who the prophets on the corner? What's that about? They say the Bible just for me, I gotta check it out. You scoffers ain't ready for me, I'm finna bring it out. My house is in order, my people, I can teach them now. Who the prophets on the corner? What's that about? They say the Bible just for me, I gotta check it out. You scoffers ain't ready for me, I'm finna bring it out. My house is in order, my people, I can teach them now. He leading captivity, shall go in captivity. Sister, how you doing? What's your name? Letha. Letha. How you doing, Letha? Letha. Letha. All right, come around here. Come around here. You good? You good? Sir. I'm gonna tone it down. I'm gonna tone it down. I was just trying to get the attention of our people. How you doing, Letha? I'm always suggest. You got any questions? Okay, so let me show you something real quick. Give me a uh, do the round. Check this out. I'm just gonna touch on some stuff. All right. She says she a child of God. She says she a child of God. A child of God, right? So, give me first John five and three. So how you how you a child of God? So look, my child, my children, right? They my kids, right? Just like the the father, they their kids. We our kids, right? Yeah. So for you to be a child of him, you gotta be keeping the commandments, right? Showing them love and respect, right? Because if you ain't doing that, then what? It's nothing. It's nothing, right? It's nothing. Watch this read. The book of First John chapter five verse three. For this is the love of God. So if you a child of God, that means you love your father. Right. But if you ain't a child of God, it means you hate your father. Right. You understand that? Watch this. For this is the love of God. So it's going into what the love is, right? Read. That we um, keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. Because the scripture said uh, a bastard won't be chastised. I'm, yeah. I'm butchering it like that. But if you don't take correction, then how you gonna, how y'all know you will love me? When you, when you piss off your parents and you don't want to follow the rules up under their house, what they tell you? Get up out of here. What you think the Lord gonna say? Right. You ain't keeping my commandments, you gotta get up out of here. Yeah. Right? That's the same thing. That's the same relationship you got to have with the Father. Right. We are the children of Israel. We don't run right. nothing. Right. right? So watch this, read. And his commandments are not grievous. That means it's not hard. His commandments are not hard for us to do. Because when your mom told you to clean up your room, we got an attitude, but it wasn't really hard. You put that stuff on the floor. Pick it up. Right. You mad at me because I'm telling you to pick up your toys. I was there. You see what I'm saying? You mad at me because I'm telling you to pick up your toys that I bought. That's right. So now, guess what the father got? He got a problem. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yes, so go back to the uh, 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 second entrance. That's why I say that the people of children of Israel despise the laws. That's the law. You got to clean your room up. You got to uh, uh, take a bath. You got to eat all your food. And he got laws too. We gotta wear pants, we gotta wear fringes. You see what I'm saying? It ain't hard to do those things. So that's why I say, so the Lord say, right? If you ain't doing what he say, you gotta get up out of here. Right. Judgment, you're getting up out of here. They obey, obey by his rules. Obey by his rules, right? Read. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 7, verse 20. For yeah. there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of God. So let's go to Exodus 20. So it says many perish because they despise, right? They mean hate. Like I say, if you tell your kids, clean up your room, they get an attitude. But it's your stuff. Right. You mad because I'm telling you how to be clean. You, you mad at that? Now I got a problem now. You see what I'm saying? That's what the law is saying. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So this is, this is going into the commandments. Have no other god before them. So if you turn on uh, uh, other shows or you, 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 you got your mind meditating on other things, but the Lord, it's a problem. You see what I'm saying? It's a problem because I'm going to show you why. I'm going to go into the jealousy that the Lord had. If you know, you, you've been in a, a, a dice game or you've been around brothers that was gambling before, you know what jealous niggas do? You know that, right? Yes, sir. What a jealous God do? <laughs> he works it and he created the Negro. That's right. Did you hear what I just said? If you know a jealous nigga at a dice game, I got you. What's your name, brother? Earl. Huh? Earl. Earl? All right. I'm going over the law. Earl. Earl. We're going over jealousy about the Lord because 
Anything that you worship outside of the law, he got a problem with. That's why I started out with, the, I meant our people despise the laws, right? Read this, read. Verse 4, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image uh -huh. or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above. So he telling you don't have no, the crosses and all that y'all be wearing? He said, take that off. Don't have that on you, right? Watch this. Or that is in the earth beneath. This is going into laws set before us that our people forgot to keep. You see what I'm saying? Read. Or that is in the water under the earth. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, uh -huh. nor serve them. Uh -huh. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. So you know what a jealous nigga do at a dice game, right? You know, you been at a dice game before? What jealous niggas do? A whole bunch of times, huh? They, they want to get their money back if they get broke, huh? It right. To one of my cousins before. It happened to him, right? So what you think a jealous God going to do if you don't follow his word? Bring it up! He ended up what? He ended up dead, right? When we started out, he said many despise because they despise the laws of God. That's right. Keeping the Sabbath day is the law of the Lord. Right. It's a lot of people around this world getting jacked up right now because they breaking the law of God. Right. The love of the Lord that we went over is keeping his commandments. So if you ain't doing that, guess what you got to do? Put you out the house. Right. You see what I'm saying? Which is the earth. They put you up out of here because you're breaking the law. Watch this, read. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them. That means your kids' kids. The law was set before them, visiting the generations, right? So guess what? Those curses that he put upon us as well. Right. Man, it's, the kids. Man, it's heavy. Right. Give me a good round of 15. It's heavy, yeah. man. They despising the laws, man. I'm going to show you something. No, we went into jealousy, right? Because we didn't want to listen to him. We were doing our own thing. He said, okay, I got something for you. Watch this. 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we were despising the laws. We weren't keeping them. We said, you don't want to listen to me? I got something for you. This is going to be your punishment. Watch this. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said, you don't want to follow what I say? I'm going to put these curses up on you. Right, right now in that flyer, that's what that flyer is pertaining and touching on. The curses that the Lord put on the children of Israel, which is us, because we wasn't keeping the commandments. Gosh, we right. were despising it. Right. it was, we was waiting for the Sabbath day to go off so we could uh, sell stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, we was hating each other. Or oh, we, we was loving the, uh, the ways of the heathens. We was doing Christmas. That ain't our custom. That right. ain't got nothing to do with us. So he said, we, since you don't like what I told you to do, I got something for you. Right. And then guess what? Even in that, when he turned the fire up, you still got to go back to him. That's right. You still got to go back to him. Watch this, read. Verse 16, curse shalt thou be in the city, and curse shalt thou be in the field. So he said, curse shalt be in the city. Are not people getting shot down in the city now? Cursed? The, the field. The worst job. We don't get the best job. They'll look over us. They'll, they'll hire the other white man or the Arab man over you. Y'all might have the same credentials or you might be better. Then they say, oh, you overqualified. Right. I'm over good. I thought if you building a team or a job, you want somebody that's good, right? I'm over good. How you be over good? That's crazy, right? Read. Verse 17. Curse shit. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. So watch this. Let's go to 68. I'm going to show y'all something. So this right here, if you touch it on that fly, is what the jealous God that you despise his law. That's what that's going over. He said, you don't want to follow me. I got somebody for you. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Yep. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So when the Lord said Egypt, he means bondage. All right? That means slavery. That's right. Oh, show that in Exodus. Read. Yo. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 6. Yo. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. You see that? So Egypt means bondage. How we got over here? Our people. On slave ships. Right? Yeah. So he said, I'm going to bring you in. Remember when he said, I brought you out? Go to Exodus. Hold on. Let me show you real quick. Go to Exodus 21. I'm going to show you something. The book. Read. 
The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 1. Yep. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You see that? The Lord said, I brought you out, right? You remember when uh, God told Moses, free my people? He was talking about these children of Israel. That's what he was talking about. He said, my. Yeah, he created all the animals, but he told you don't eat them. Right. See what I'm saying? It's a separation. So people say, yeah, he created everything. Yeah, he did. But he got a separate thing. He created all the animals, but he said, don't eat pork. Right. Don't eat shrimp. Don't eat crab. Right? right. But guess what? He created it. He created all the people. But he said, them your enemies. Right. You That's see what I'm saying? Right. We was kings at one point. But right. we failed because we despised the law. Right. We broke right. the law. That's where we at today. So to get to the kingdom, you have to repent. Right. That's what we are here to teach. Because every brother you see right here was doing drugs or selling drugs uh -huh. or, uh, or robbing or shooting or, or whatever, gang banging, Whore. whatever it was. Hard monkey. Okay, hard monkey, we were doing all kind of stuff. That's but guess right. what? We wanted to get to the kingdom. Right. The scriptures hit our spirit and say, man, I got to get it together. Right. I wasn't married before I came in the truth, but I got married because I heard uh, Hebrews 13 and 4. Right. Right. That's right. Now I got a bunch of kids. So guess what I got to do? Be a father. That's right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because if I don't be a father, then I am a nigger. Right. An unrepentant fool. Right? And we got enough of that already. So we are here showing examples and bringing back fathers. Bringing back men to raise up their kids. Right. To be there. To love their wife as they self. Right. That's what you see before you now. Right. We was all in other streets, in, in other neighborhoods that come from all backgrounds of life. Right. But guess what's pulling us together? Right. The Bible. That's right. Uh, uh, the black folks always say, yes, sir, that we that we need to come together, right? Uh, 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 Martin Luther King tried it. Malcolm X tried it. But guess what the glue was? The glue was the Bible. That's right. The glue was the Bible. They weren't sticking to this. They were sticking on their philosophies and doctrines that they thought. Right. But this is the glue. Right. That's right. This is the glue. Read. Go back to the curses. Yes, sir. What's your name? Anthony, how you doing, Anthony? You got a question? No, I'm just Okay, yeah, and check it out, check it out. So we're going over jealousy and the uh, 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 the judgments of the children of Israel. God ain't dealing with everybody. He's dealing with his people. All right. All right, 28. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So I was breaking down Egypt. Egypt, he said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. Because remember, he said, I brought you out, right? That was the first time. Then he said, I'm going to bring you back in. So Egypt just means bondage. Right, right now, we are in slavery. Right. Believe that. We are in slavery, right? He said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. This is because we despise the laws of God. We weren't listening. Like today, the Sabbath, people working. There's people buying and selling. There's people not wearing fringes. There's a lot of things that we are uh, not doing or constantly not aware of. That's right. Read. By the way thereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Because when we got from slave ships, we didn't been back home. Right. Everything that we learned thus far was over here by the enemy. Right. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So guess what? The scripture says enemies. So if the pastor tell you God love everybody, he lying. Right. That's right. The scripture says you be sold to your enemies. Right. And they say you're going to be sold to friends. That's right. You're going to be sold to your neighbors. So who is the enemies? Bring it out. It's somebody that ain't on your team. That ain't your people. The children of Israel is your people. Right. That's right. That's your people. That's why Solomon fell off, because he was messing with people that ain't on his team. Right? That's right. You see what I'm saying? All oh, praises, sister. All oh, praises. And now we're going to educate you with this word. That's right. So guess what? Give me uh, uh, Psalms 106 and 35. Because Christmas coming up. And I'm going to show y'all something. We was forced to keep these things. Right. We was forced. This was, not, not today we think is the norm. But think about it. If you go back when we got off through ships, right? They beat half of us, they, they uh, uh, chained us up, they forced all that, right? So now they broke us down to generation to generation to generate them and beating and breaking and beating and breaking, beating and breaking. Now we think it's the norm now. Right. That's right. They've been beating and breaking us for years. Right. But guess what? We finna beat and break they doctrine and come back to the Lord. Right. right. That's right. We finna beat they doctrine. We finna break they stronghold and show our people 
Now we gotta open up the mind. We are gonna beat and break everything that you know and fill it with the scriptures. We gonna beat and break everything that you know and fill it with the scriptures. So once I empty it out, I gotta put something back in. Right? Once you throw that trash in the dumpster, is you putting it out the trash and bringing it back in the house? Bring it out! You leaving it outside, right? So Christmas, we gonna leave that custom outside. Right. Right. Birthday, we gonna leave that custom outside. Right. And we're gonna do Hanukkah. We're gonna do Feast of Dedication. We're gonna do Purim. That's right. We're gonna put that inside your spirit That's right. to keep the commandments. That's, right. That's what we are here to do. Right. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 106, verse 35. Bring it up. But we're mingled among the heathen. So the scripture says heathen. So it said enemy, mm -hmm. now it says heathens. <laughs> you see how the Lord ain't even dealing with them. He called him out, he called him spit in uh, second address. Yeah, I'm gonna say he created the people, but he don't care about them. Right. He care about you, my brother. Right. He care about you, my sister. Right. Read. But we're mingled among the heathen uh -huh. and learn their works. And learn their works. Go to first Jer uh, Jeremiah 10. We learn the works. Right how on. we learn the works? The scripture said we was mingled among them. You know how we was mingled? Because guess what? They brought us over here. They said, all right, now you're gonna learn this. Like I said, they beat and broke us. Yeah. They hung the strongest dude up there. Now the weak ones looking at all damn. What they gonna do now? It wasn't no fighting us no more. Right. They beat and broke our people, man. And we gotta come back. Right. We gotta come back ten times harder. That's right. Because they broke us ten times harder. Right. That's right. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Yes. Hear ye the word which the Lord spake unto you, O house of Israel. He said, To you, O house of Israel. He ain't talking about everybody. He said, hear the words of the Lord speaking to you. Watch this. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. learn not the way of the heathen. There you go again. He's telling you, man, don't learn these people ways. The heathen, the stranger, the enemies. He's telling you, these people out here ain't on your team. He's telling you this. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Uh-huh, because why? For the heathen are dismayed at them. You see that? For the heathen is, not you. Don't do this, don't learn this. This custom go have you in sin. And sin is transgression of the law. Right. And many people perish for despising the law. Right. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. Are vain to you. If you do the birthday, if you do the Christmas, if you do the Thanksgiving, they vain to you. That's me, you in the midst of sin. That don't profit you. That's right. It was a dude in my job talking about, yeah, man, I just got my Christmas shopping out the way. I'm 500 in the hole. I'm, what? Man, you know how much money I spend, man? I ain't buying them. 500 in the hole? Man, you crazy, man. You see what I'm saying? Them customs ain't got nothing to do with you. He taking his paycheck, bro, and going broke for some toys. <laughs> for a custom that ain't got nothing to do with him. That's right. He really think he's doing something good. He's confused. Right. That's the peak and the, the break that they did to us. That's right. For the customs of the of the people are vain. Uh -huh. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Where they get the tree from? Read it from the point again. For one cutteth a tree out of the uh, forest. So they cut the tree out the forest. This is a custom of Christmas that the Lord telling you don't do. Right. They get the tree out the forest and they cut it down, right? They cut it down, right? Watch this. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. So what they do with the axe? They cut the tree with the axe, right? Yeah. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. Don't you do that? Don't you put ornaments and deck it with silver and gold on the tree? The Lord telling you don't do that. He telling you don't do that. They do it anyways. Watch this, read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers uh -huh. that it moves not. You see that? Give me James 4. That Bring it, it moves not. So you got this Christmas tree in there thinking you're doing something good. You working 40 hours, 80 hours, 120, whatever it may be, to go buy toys and presents for your kids, and they still bad as hell. You know what? I had to buy nothing. You don't buy none. That's right. Don't buy none. That's right. James 4. James 4 and 4. Watch this. The book of James, chapter 4, verse 4. Yeah. Ye adulterers and adulterers, uh -huh. know ye not that the friendship of the world. So the friendship of the world, the, the customs that you love of this world, God don't like. Yeah. The scripture is right. going to tell you that. He said, if you're a friend of 
keeping customs of Christmas. If you're a friend of the birthday, if you're a friend of uh, uh, Hallmonger, watch what the Lord say. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? I mean, he hate that. If you cool with how society is right now, then you in the midst of sin, bro. Because you loving the customs. You loving the birthday. You loving the Christmas. You loving the Thanksgiving. They ain't got nothing to do with us. Right. That's what the scripture tell you. I gave you straight commandments. Everything in this Bible is plain. It's plain. Watch this. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world. He said, whoever be a friend of the world, of the Israelites, read, is the enemy of God. That's heavy. I don't want to be the enemy of God. Right. I don't want to be on the other side. Right. I want to be with him, right? Uh, give me uh, San James 4, go to, down to 8. I think it's 8. James 4 and 8. Watch this. Verse 8. Draw nigh to God. So the scripture says you're an enemy, right? That means you far away from him, right? Watch what this scripture say. And he will draw nigh to you. Read it from the top again. Draw nigh to God. That means come to him. Keep the commandments. Repent. Draw nigh to the Lord, right? Read. And he will draw nigh to you. And he will draw nigh to you. But if you don't draw nigh to him, guess what he gonna do? He gonna bag up like coffins and then you in trouble, bro. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many have